Greetings and salutations. Welcome to episode 89 of the Bolton Save. Today, we're going to look through transfers. Who have we signed? Who have we sold? Let's get this shit started. There we go, guys, the transfers for this summer. What do you think? <laughs> I know I've gone a bit crazy. I've gone a bit mental. Let me talk you through it. So we got uh, just rid of a couple of sort of fringe players, like I said, in the in the sort of transfers episode. Uh, El Sae just didn't make it. Bad injury. Managed to get a 4.4 for him. Happy with that. Caceres, 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 whatever his name is. Um, bought him in last season, but he was still surplus. I think uh, Lewis Cook's come and done really well. And we've got uh, the new guy, Rivas, uh, as well, that I think is going to be really good. We've also um, got rid of Axel Bigot. And I was talking, it's a great name. So remember, 10% for the name. Uh, sold it for 9.25 million. He's got the chance to become a decent player, but we have got Cody Stokes, another young player, another young English player that I've loaned out with. We can recall him if we do have injury problems. That I think could be a real star of the future. The next one's an interesting one. Odegaard. So he tried to leave last season. Probably the season before that as well. And I managed to get convince him to stay. On the basis that we would qualify for the Champions League. So as soon as we qualify for the Champions League. He was all happy. Yay, and stuff. And then as soon as the fucking summer started. One sniff from another team. And he was like oh I want to leave. So I was like oh fuck off then. Right, that's how I, that's how I deal with these sort of players that just keep pissing me off. Don't want a beer, fuck right off. So I managed to send thirty five point five million uh, to Valencia, and obviously then you know it was a chase to sort of get a replacement for him. So we bought in Emre Chan as our big signing. I talked about him in the transfer episode. I really wanted him. He's a superb player. He's a versatile player. He's going to play that ball winning midfield role, but he's a really good passer. Good all round game, basically. So I'm really chuffed with that. We got Marco Royce on a free, who, to be honest, I probably shouldn't have got. But it's more of a bit of fun It's to have a big name player. He's going to play a bit part this season, play some of the cup games and uh, maybe find someone for him to tutor. Then we've got Ariel Rivas, who I wasn't really looking for another central midfielder, but um, he came in and just sort of, I was like, okay, this guy's pretty good. And he was relatively cheap, £4.8 million. 
I was thinking even if I never really, even if he doesn't become a first team choice or anything like that, which there's a sort of chance. He's 22. He's a little bit on the older side for these youngsters you bring across. But even if he doesn't make it, I'll sell him at a nice profit. He's just going to be a squad player. And then, obviously, the Odegaard sale started the hunt for then a new inside forward. So I was like, okay, right, who can we go after? And then immediately I went back to the transfer episode and went, oh, that fucking Greek kid. Get that Greek kid. He was amazing. So I then went in for him. And uh, we managed to do the deal, but then I didn't have enough money, even with the Odegaard sale. So that meant that Enzo Rocco then had to leave as well uh, for £9.5 million. Took a bit of a hit on him, but he's not getting any younger, so this is the most I'm ever going to get for him. We went to Bournemouth, um, which means we've got Galezi, who was going to send out on loan as a centre-back, but we're going to keep him now as our, as our backup. And also, obviously, Emre Chan can play perfectly well as a centre-back as well, if needed to cover and all that sort of thing. So here, Pan... We're gonna have to check. I mission is for this episode is to go and think of a fucking nickname for this guy because I'm not pronouncing that every time. I was just thinking of Conti, um, but I'll leave it up to you guys. Um, leave it in the comments your nickname for this guy. Whichever gets the most thumbs up is the one we'll use, unless it's ridiculous. But you know, and this kid is just looks absolutely fucking beastly. I was like, as soon as I was had the chance to get him, I was like, yes, please. Twenty three caps of Greece. 21 years old, 20 flair. God, you got to love a bit of flair, haven't you? Um, really decent amount of pace. He's slightly better finishing than Odegaard as well. His crossing's really good. First touch is fantastic. Remember, 21, he's got a lot of time to progress. Although he's right-footed, and I am going to play him on the right as an inside forward, he um, he has a decent left foot as well. So he's, he's not quite two-footed, but he's sort of close. Um, so very, very happy. I'm excited to see how this kid does. Uh, let me go. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, transfers. Um, I know, bit of, bit of craziness. <laughs> Two transfers for 117 million. It's not my usual gig. I don't really go for the big transfers. Uh, but you know, it's good fun, isn't it? Let me know. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Also, tell me if you like this sort of version of the transfers rather than me just talking through them. Um, you know, bit of bit of fun graphics and music and shit like that. I thought you might enjoy it. But let me know if you don't, and I'll just go back to the normal way. That's fine. Thank you very much for joining me, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.